Hello Capricorn, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at current energies for the week of March 21st. Just keep in mind this is general reading so take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And can I say massive thank you for each one of you watching my videos and liking, subscribing and commenting as this is a new channel. I really appreciate your support. Okay, so what do we have for you Capricorn? So nine of cups, what is there not to like? So this is a real, oh, I feel good card. Okay, so you can see this person here sitting, hands crossed, really chilled. The cups are behind on kind of like a, um, on, on display, just showing everyone how good I feel. And kind of a little smirk in the face. Okay, so but this is really good content card. Okay, so you're nearly at the end of the cycle, so which is nine of cups. Okay, you nearly achieved the result that you are going for and we have wow let me say wow because we have not one two but three major arcanas okay so i'm going to start with uh ace of swords so this is kind of light bulb moment so there's a um kind of new ideas um new something to start a new project or some sort of new way of thinking coming in your head okay and as you can see, the sword has been surrounded with a uh, kind of halo, which is pure light. Okay, so which is really good card to have because then we have the world card. So you have, in a ways, finished the cycle. You know, the cycle starts with the full and ends with the world. Okay, so you have come a long way. There's been uh, lessons learned and... Um, a lot of stuff has been done and you have achieved a lot you feel like you don't feel like world is on your shoulders it doesn't there's no such a energy i don't see here okay sometimes you could read so but not in this reading but this is like you have come a long way but life doesn't end no that just doesn't um there's always something new to come because we have an ace of swords and we have the chariot so you have free will. What is next you want to do? Okay. And this kind of quickly, you feel like you need to do something all the time. You can't sit still and you need to march ahead. And you just kind of need to decide. Because a chariot, you can see the t two names here. And wh what are you going to do? Which way are you going to do? But you're going to decide pretty quick. And you're going to go march ahead. Because... There's a page, page of swords here. So we have interesting position, no, no combination. Ace is where it starts. And page, where the action comes in. As you can see, there's a birds flying around. Okay. There's a clouds around it as well. So it kind of comes into reality. The idea is transferring into reality, into action, which is good to see. Okay. So it's not just staying in an in, in a idea uh, stage. Which is definitely because now we have the star, so we have the seven st no stars here, which represents chakras, and you can see the two chalices here. It's kind of like the abundance. There's more. There's more what you want. There's more than you need. Okay, so it could be as well with um, a decision to make here in ch in chariot, um, that what I want and what I need. Okay, so that could be quite a kind of thinking or little debate within yourself to, to make decision but this is really really good and this seems kind of like really not just a small things changing in your life but kind of quite got quite big okay you still need to make those steps and decisions and and take action but you have this really nice nine of cups energy surrounding it i feel good and things are going great okay and this seems like long time been coming and you have waited for it and it's here um embrace it capricorn this is so so lovely to see okay let's see what we have a clarify for you if it resonates with you uh you know what to do like subscribe and comment of course and we're gonna clarify for you capricorn okay oh <laughs> yes right so we have uh in tarot i would read this as a the hermit so it's kind of like look within okay so what we have is here the nine of cups you have um 
you have the, all the knowledge and you have used it and you have come to this great success, the great feeling. You know how to tap into those energies that really charge you, that really um, upgrade you, that really push you forward. Okay, so what we have two, three major, major cards. I'm going to speak, talk about them in a few um, there's a new study definitely when you're starting this new uh, thing or project or whatever it is um, just keep in mind be open-minded childlike playing okay uh, ask the questions and read and even though you have achieved something in your life a lot you know there's always something to learn you live and learn all all life and something needs to go of course so there's some sort of closure here and um, the lessons you have learned is is in, invaluable, okay? But uh, along the way, probably have pick up maybe a habit or two that is maybe time to go, or people that don't uh, don't have place in your new future, okay? So as I like to say, is if the people don't respect your future, um, they don't have a place in your future, okay? So the third, last, lastly, these are very major I, I would like to say this is kind of like a, you know um high high energies high powered uh energies are here for you capricorn so we have the cross here which is like kind of like blessings whatever you've done and where you're going your intentions being so clear and and and, and clean that it's kind of like a judgment day that world is with you universe is with you because we have the world card Okay, so world is your oyster. And this card here says, as above, so below. If you had your heart clean and clear, intuitions clear and clean, uh, universe is behind you. And to support whatever you want is yours and you can have it. Okay, so let's see what we have clarified for you. Aha, uh -huh. we have a caution word. And so the timing is important as well. So whenever you're going into this next kind of a thing, um, Read the small prints, of course, and ask maybe um, professionals for advice. And it could be as well that maybe this bit is important, that you leave stuff behind. Because that might drag you down. Those old habits or people don't have space, place in your new, um, a new part in your life. And Angel of Peace. It is definitely smooth road ahead. The universe is with you. So... Yeah, this is lovely to read Capricorn. So hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you think. And thanks for being here. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.